Good morning. I would like to uh, to lock your door to remind you of something quite important. That as as usual, I just talk about the <clears throat> three important days that takes place every month. Like half moon, full moon, and new moon. So today it is going to be it is nineteenth of uh, November. It's going to to be the full moon. Full moon. If you look in the sky, you can see the moon is full. And uh, so, as the half moon or the eighth, according to the lunar calendar, it's the medicine Buddha's day. Full moon. That is according to the lunar calendar. It's going to be fifteenth, and it is the day of. Uh, what you call the Buddha Amitabha's day and then the after 15, 15 days after the full moon it's going to be new moon it's Buddha Shakyamuni's day so Buddha, Buddha medicine, medicine Buddha Amitabha and Buddha Shakyamuni these are the important things that are important for us to remember. It corresponds with our own, own like uh, subtle connections with the, the other, our like emotions and things like that. So it's not only only what you can call it mm. full moon but also what you call uh, the eclipse going to take place to today on this 19th of November on this full full, full moon eclipse there are two types of eclipse, as you know. Solar eclipse and lunar eclipse. And uh, of course, on the new moon, you don't see the moon, so therefore it has to be always solar eclipse. But tomorrow, as the moon is uh, it's going to be quite full, so we can really detect the eclipse. So t tomorrow or today, on the nineteenth of uh, of uh, November, it's a uh, what you call uh, lunar eclipse. It's full moon and lunar eclipse, and. Uh, it is going to start around uh, like uh, six in the morning, goes on 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 until midday. It is one of the longest like uh, eclipse, and of course you can check um, on the internet that uh, what time the eclipse taking place and. Uh, whether it's visible or not, all that you can check in the internet, so please do so. Why eclipse is very important? And uh, as there's eclipse taking place externally, also internally, within each one of our, like how the energy is circulating, and it's very effective for whatever we do, Whatever we do by body, speech, mind, whatever positive actions we do during the course of the, this day and especially during the course of the eclipse, whatever we do is very powerful. 
it multiplies. Result, the effect of that, the practice will increase hundreds and thousands. It's very effective. Whatever negative actions we do is also very, very going to be very negative. So if we could uh, try to to make sure that we will not engage any post any kind of negative actions, but engage in virtuous actions. For the well-being of all sentient beings, it will really be very, very powerful. So for this reason, like today it's the uh, 19th of, uh, of November, and according to, to lunar calendar, it's going to be the 15th, 15th of the also the ninth month so according to the lunar calendar so if you can really make sure if you could do some practice during the during the time of this uh, this eclipse and uh, of course trying to be very positive during the whole like 24 hours would be so great so as usual, I will remind you with uh, some of the chant, chanting with mantras, and uh, and beginning with the uh, with the homage. I'm going to to chant the homage. Buddham Sharanam Gachami. Dhammam saranam gachami Sangam saranam gachami Homage to Buddha Homage to Dhamma Homage to Sangha Lama la kyo sucho Sangye la kyo sucho Shu la kyo sucho Bindu la kyo sucho Translation in in Tibetan. Shunam Tamsi Gulijum. Did you take in ship or the Gilin Chimbi? Dig us on Tibaji and Mishash and Gua Pusun Sopoch. Rang the Simnions on the Dennis Angi Tembayan. Everything manifests from cause. The Tathagata pronounced or declares that avoid all harms, whether it's physical, verbal, or mental, 
engage in the virtue train your mind so the first thing is to avoid all kind of harms that's important for us to to be aware if we can't help anybody at least try to avoid any harm harmful thought harmful speech harmful actions that's not enough we should try to do what we can to be able to benefit others but one of the most essential thing is uh, training our mind so of course whatever we do if we begin if we could begin with the uh, checking our mind how is our state of mind no one can can check this for us with the only one who can check looking within the state of our mind and what's going on we can check and whatever we do it is considered it's so important to begin with a proper state of mind virtuous state of mind filled state of mind mindset is filled with the loving kindness and uh, if we could really c could cultivate a state of mind that is filled with the love uh, unconditioned love toward everyone that is considered very important if we do have such a state of mind then everything will become positive and on the basis of such a state then of course we should also try to cultivate compassion here when we talk about compassion wish to remove the suffering and the cause of suffering of everyone so it need to be unconditioned state of mind of compassion then joy joy is state of mind that if when one could try to to become aware when our mind it's a little bit like a uh, what we can say jealous recognize that and transmute into the joy when you see something's happening to someone but often what happens that we are not very happy the way jealous if we follow that it creates nothing but but harmful results we do not want to, want to have harmful results therefore it is important to become aware and rejoice the happiness of others try to really rejoice and the rejoicing happiness for others it's something really very very virtuous action so instead of jealousy try to cultivate a state of mind of joy rejoicing happiness for others then these three things love compassion 
joy need to be brought in such a way that impartial to everyone. Toward everyone. So, love, compassion, joy, and impartiality. This is what we can call it. Uh, for limitless thoughts. So, this is something that's come to us. We can experience love. We can experience compassion. We can experience joy. We can experience impartiality. But it needs to be brought limitless toward everyone. Wishing everyone to be happy with that, with the cause of happiness is what we can call it, love. Wishing everyone to be free from suffering and a, and a cause of suffering is we call compassion. And these four thoughts need to be brought in the level that thought limitless. The love, compassion, joy, impartiality need to be brought in the limitless. And that's why we often we call it the boundless thoughts. On the basis of four boundless thoughts, then it is important for us to really engage into in the six transcendental act or activities generosity discipline Patience, diligence, concentration or meditation, and, uh, and wisdom. So we have to really check carefully and thoroughly that when we are engaging in actions to be directed with a spirit full of joy and full of, of like a generosity whatever we can share with others any material things or any kind of spiritual gifts and especially the third practice of generosity is being able to protect lives in danger whatever they might be does not matter whether it's humans or animals, everyone wish to live, therefore to, to protect their lives in danger in a such way they try to cultivate joy to protect our lives for others and that is in danger. For this reason often we we talk about like uh, if it's possible, like to become like a vegetarian or maybe the vegan, because it might direct to putting somebody's lives in danger. Yes, it might be interesting because by habits, something delicious, but it's a cause for that sometime, at least an act that putting some lives in danger so therefore if you can avoid it's incredibly powerful it's as a result that many of our 
difficulties and many of of our situations as in, in really tragic and danger can be subside. And also that is very much possible if we can keep up with the practice of discipline. Discipline here what we are talking about to avoid all kind of harmful thoughts and actions whatever it is and also engage in virtue whatever it is that's beneficial to to everyone and and any any actions and thoughts that what we can do that benefit of others it's it's also one of the disciplines so in the on the basis of this try to really read or learn more about like the six parameters it's very important like a training for our for us and then whatever we do it's always always if you could do it with the really proper positive intentions and try to be aware mindful during the course of the actions whatever we do at the end if we could really dedicate the virtue of what we have done what we have done for all beings then your action can provide you a result that's totally limitless as a number of sentient beings and limitless if you could dedicate for the set with limitless sentient beings the your virtue what we might be able to obtain would be limitless but however when we can when we try to try to make it totally limitless and especially the perfect for this is important try to see the illusive nature of everything nature of everything illusory dreamlike if it's possible like we are free of clinging to subject of an action try to see the emptiness nature or the illusion nature which makes the virtues totally limitless and indestructible these are as you might read in the teachings you might have heard from our teachers so please try to include in your thoughts and also I would like to to call upon Buddha Amitabha because full moon corresponds with the Buddha Amitabha Om Ami Deva compassion
with wish and intention and aspiration so that you all have uh, have uh, infinite and perfect like life therefore going to chant uh, Buddha of infinite life Om Ma Rane Jeevan De So Om Ma Rane Jeevan De So Now, I would like to call upon the Mother Tara who protects and pro who removes who protects us from all dangers and uh, also removes the hindrances in our life om dare du dare du re so om dare du re du dare du re so om dare du re du dar du re so om dare du dar du re so Nadi Om Rabaja Nadi That is a calling upon the the Buddha of Wisdom, the Ministry. Now, I would like to call upon Guru Padmasambhu, who is considered as a Buddha of three times past, present, future. Om Bhajra Guru Padma Siddhi Om Bhajra Guru Padma Siddhi wish every one of you have a wonderful wonderful time and especially during the eclipse if you could try to find the moment like for example making aspiration that this this month but especially this uh, this day and especially during the course of the eclipse, if you could try to find a way to be able to, to practice, and do virtuous actions, whatever you can do, it will be so wonderful. So wish you all have a wonderful day, Buddha, Buddha, Amitabha's day. And may all your wishes come true. May all the enlightened ones live long and uh, their wishes come true. They have no other than like to benefit sentient beings. Therefore, let's make this aspiration. May all beings be happy with the, with the cause of happiness. May all beings be free from suffering and cause of suffering. And it 
Buddha said that uh, whatever we do during this day, especially during the time of eclipse, it implies if we pronounce the prayer of aspiration that it will increase 100,000 times. It's very powerful. So if you can chant the prayer of a of Buddha summoned Bhattara it is really powerful it's incredibly powerful to benefit such beings and as well as for ourselves so have a wonderful day day of Buddha Amitabha especially that uh, the eclipse. Thank you. All my best wishes to every one of you. So please do whatever you can, saving lives, giving some charities and uh, feeding animals or humans, whatever we can. And I'm, I'm going to order today like a practice of generosity, saving lives, all that, I will share the virtue with every one of you. Please take good care.